Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And if you don't mind, I'd like to continue on with my top favorite Criterion releases of this year, 2020. And right now, I'd like to focus, if I may, on my top five favorite Criterion Collection cover art packaging from 2020. So this is a list of my favorite cover art or packaging designs from releases made by the Criterion Collection during this year. Now, as we know, one of the really nice points of physical media and Criterion is the cover art and design and packaging. Oftentimes it, it can be potentially a lot of fun. There can be some interesting things done with, say, the picture art or the layout or maybe the inserts or things of that nature. So uh, the list here is of a general nature uh, covering all of these points with regard to the releases from this year, 2020. And so it was a very difficult choice and as I say, with all of these lists, uh, my, uh, the, the list could change depending on my mood or the time of day, etc. But for right now, uh, these are my favorites from this year. Again, cover art packaging design from Criterion Collection releases this year, 2020. Number five, and this is a release that came a little bit early in the year. That's spine number 1011. And it's this, which is Failsafe. And I should say that Failsafe, uh, we have the art directors, Sarah Habibi and Eric Skillman, designer, Adam Maeda, and art production coordinator, William Brise, and assistant, Julie Sussman. And so look at this. I love this swirl effect of the cover art. And if you look closely, there are indeed some pictures that are indicated in the swirl and in the lettering. And these pictures, I think, are very significant in the context of the film itself. So, uh, and I love this black and white motif, which is very much akin to the nature of the black and white photography and also thematically in terms of duality and sides. And if you open it up, we see the motif carried through inside with the disc itself and the insert. Now it's one of these inserts which is like a fold-out poster and so um, uh, I'm usually not a fan of the fold-out poster but I must say that this is a continuation of the artwork which is absolutely stunning and so I'm so thrilled with this. There's a, a minimal design but it's also meant for a kind of shock effect which I admire very much and it's in keeping with the film. So once again, this is for the release of Failsafe. Number four, my fourth favorite uh, Criterion Collection cover art packaging design is for the release at spy number 1058. And it's this, The Irishman. And we have again, art director Sarah Habibi and Eric Skillman and our production coordinator, William Brazy, and assistant, Julie Sussman. And cover illustration, Gregory Manches, and designer, F. Ron Miller. And my goodness, look at this cover art. I love the painted portrait type of motif. And the uh, back has this black, white, and gray, and golden motif to it, which is an indication of age and time and the passage of time. And this uh, uh, painting motif, I think, is also akin to uh, the, the passage of time and also, I think, a subtle link to the nature of the de-aging, which is a, a very uh, integral part of this film, as we know. And then this is a digipack. So we have these uh, uh, s uh, illustrations. Uh, carry through into the film itself or into the packaging itself in the three main characters. And we have the inside with this wonderful design. Um, and the I love also the detail of the different colors of the Blu-rays for the two disc set. And uh, the booklet as well, which is uh, very much 
uh, matching certain aspects of the film. Plus this, I heard you paint houses, which is a very important phrase in the context of this film. And I love this boldness of the font, uh, white and black usage, and the uh, layout of the booklet. So this is a great presentation, overall package design and cover art that is in keeping with the film. It has a boldness to it, it has a freshness to it, and it has this great connection with the film itself. So this is my number four favorite Criterion Collection cover art packaging design from this year for The Irishman. Number three, and this is spy number 1051. Wow, this is so, so great. And it's this, The Elephant Man. So once again, we have art director Sarah Habibi, Eric Skillman, and art production coordinator William Breezy, and assistant Julie Sussman, and designer Sister Hyde. Look at this. This is so great. This is very much uh, modeled after the... Uh, uh, the uh, poster art image of the main character here but if you look very closely there is a dot style motif to it that is reminiscent of the fog and also particles in the air and this idea also of particles in the air is also reminds me a lot of other films by David Lynch in particular Eraserhead and so I love that little detail and if you look also the font too the font usage is very much in keeping with the film and uh, there's something about the peculiarities of the the shape of the letters is just so brilliant and the spacing it's it's great and and we have that continuation uh, here in the front and the back and this is a digipack and so the art continues on here as well look at this excuse me look at this and how it uh, wraps around like so. And uh, we have the inside here, which is like so. And then the booklet too. And we have the continuation of the art motif and the layout and the photos. So this is a wonderful design. And uh, once again, I'd like to shout out our dear friend, Sister Hyde, uh, Drusilla Adeline. And I had the great pleasure of uh, interviewing Drusilla Adeline, a.k.a. Sister Hyden. What a great interview that was. So insightful, so, uh, so detailed, and so sharp and intelligent. And I had so much fun. And uh, part of the conversation was the discussion of the work for the design for the Criterion release of The Elephant Man. Outstanding. So uh, well done. And this is one of the best. Number two, and this is for the film at spy number 1025, and it's this. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Wow. Art director Sarah Habibi, paintings Emma Wesley, designer Annie Atkins, and then we have um, art production coordinator William Breezy and assistant Julie Sussman. So uh, look at this design, and I love this blue and pink motif because we have the pink motif carrying through into the inner compartment of this digipack. And the, uh, the drawings and the paintings are exquisite. The design inside is amazing, so much in keeping with the detail and, uh, and uh, care that goes into the film itself. And we have so many different types of, of uh, items that are included with this, uh, and the design work is outstanding and uh, so this is this is uh, in keeping with the film it's key, it has the same sense of fun and detail and commitment to art and the atmosphere of the film and this is really one of the best uh, so vivid and so alive and this is uh, a great example of why releases like this from the Criterion Collection are so great um, I love this. This is, once again, for the Grand Budapest Hotel. And so my next choice is my number one favorite Criterion Collection cover art packaging design from this year. And uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel and the Elephant Man, these are really strong and, as I say, it was a very difficult choice to make because there are so many great examples 
but there is this one which is for me just uh, classic absolutely classic for a number of reasons and it is this three fantastic journeys by Karel Zeman and look at this so this is art director Sarah Habibi and Eric Skillman paper engineering Rene Jablo designer Eric Skillman and we have our production coordinator William Breezy and assistant Julie Sussman and my goodness look at this work it is very much in keeping with the intricacies of the films the animation the the uh, the handcrafted nature of the brilliance of the these works and it has this playful wonderful aspect to it which is also like a storybook as well so there's so much in here the handcrafted nature of the animation and the technical achievement of the works themselves and this idea of a storybook and these films are like stories because for example we have this pop-up nature to the uh, to the works themselves which is amazing absolutely amazing and i'm my presentation skills here are not doing this justice but it's just uh you just have to see it to believe it and it's interactive and fun and wildly imaginative and there is this uh there's this aesthetic uh that is continued through in terms of this design of this uh, kind of leaflet type of nature to it oh my goodness this is so much fun and so engaging and it's i think very much in keeping with the nature of the films themselves so I love this. This is my favorite design uh, and uh, cover art and packaging from this year, 2020. That for Three Fantastic Journeys by Karel Zeman. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. See you very soon. And until then, cheers. Mm -hmm.